Hi there, welcome back. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about a very important topic. We're going to talk about API security. API security matters when developing API. So let's get to the plan. Um, we are going to see, um, make a cookie only accessible on HTTPS. Okay, we're gonna um, teach you how to prevent SQL injections, uh, the headers for security, prevent cross site scripting, XSS, limit number of queries during uh, an amount of time, and prevent param pollution. So the project that we are going to use, uh, we're going to use this on my GitHub account, this project, okay, the recent project, we're gonna clone this project, okay, and we're gonna work with it. Well, so we clone this project and uh, we want uh, npm install on both um, folders. Now, um, Node.js modules is on the root um, folder for the backend, okay, and we're gonna work um, most of the time for this uh, video in uh, on the app. And now uh, we're gonna configure, I mean, um, cookie. I mean, we already configured cookie, but we're gonna add uh, uh, the security layer um, conditionally. So we create uh, an object named options and we give it um, this value. Okay, so nothing changed till now, but um, we're gonna add our condition. So if, um, um, you know, uh, to access uh, the variable process.env that um, node underscore env, I mean, uh, uh, triple equal to um, production okay so if we are in production so what we are going to do we are going to I mean add uh, um, a new property okay to that object options that secure equal true okay and uh, next Thing we're gonna do we're gonna prevent sql injections so this is uh really frequent and very important and to do so we're gonna use uh, this package okay express as you can see when uh, um someone try to add uh, some mongodb operator in the query okay and uh mongo sanitize we're gonna install express mongo um, sanitize and uh, we're gonna call it like so and we're gonna add it as a middleware okay there's nothing to fancy and uh, let's install um, this uh, dependency and uh, it's because um, when I deployed this project I put uh, the package JSON in the wood folder okay so that this is why I want the Express Mongo um, sanitize um, in the wood. Okay, so now let's add uh, this uh, package in the app.js. Okay, so let's copy. And Mongo sanitize require Express Mongo um, sanitize. And uh, uh, let's uh, put it here and uh, Let's add a comment. So prevent. Um, prevent SQL injection. Okay, and and then we add uh, the middleware, mongo sanitize. So um, this is an example. For example, if someone try to um, log in. And instead of adding the email, it add uh, the last sign greater than and then empty. Okay. 
so after that um, let's try to add uh, headers okay so we're gonna use a uh, element okay so app to secure express apps by setting HTTP response headers okay so this is how when we pass it as middleware okay so really simple to um, deal with okay they give you some extra options in case you want to do it and now let's um, uh, moving in our code editor and install um, element and then uh, import element okay cause element require element and then we're gonna pass um, helmet um, has uh, middleware we add some comment adding security headers the app that use and helmet so really simple guys I mean guys and girls um okay so as you can see let's try to get um I mean which this endpoint as you can see you see some um you see how much thing we have in the headers okay so this is it for um helmet and now um we're gonna um prevent cross site scripting x s s okay to do so guys and girls we're gonna use this package uh, xss dash clean and this is how to require i mean to import it in the js and we're gonna use it also as uh, middleware and now back to our code editor and install this uh, dependency and uh, require um, xss um, equal require um, xss dash clean okay i should say i should write um xss okay and after that um let's uncomment this pretty the same thing and pass it as middleware okay and then save so for example uh, xss injection is try um i mean if someone try to create a post and trying to add a script okay um in this example okay the person would add the script in it and to do some bad thing in our application so this package will prevent that awesome right after that we could if we want limit number of queries during uh, an amount an amount of time and to do so we're gonna use uh, the express rate um, dash limit express dash rate dash limit okay so used to limit repeated requests to public APIs or endpoints and to do so we wanna use npm or yarn in our case we are using npm and this is how to uh, import it and uh, after that this is uh, now create a variable name limiter and using the weight limit and pass some options in it and after that using use it as middleware okay first of all we install our express dash rate dash limit okay and let's put this um, here before the routes. Okay. And um, let's copy. Okay. Copy weight limit. Okay. And after that, let's copy. Um, The code directly from the package 
so just to show you there is uh, no secret guys and girls basically we are just um, doing what they tell us okay so we we are adding we are adding a comment let me queries um, per 15 minutes okay and we pass um, we just copy um, so as you can see here limit each IP to um, 100 requests per window okay per 15 minutes okay so this is it and after that we um, pass the middleware app that use the we pass the limiter variable that we have just created okay so now to test it we're gonna pass the maximum uh, request to one just to test and let's go to post one and we send the request okay and let's try again and as you can see um too many requests please try again later okay so let's uh back it to normal to normal um okay what i'm doing okay and save it after that um the last one package um, um prevent param pollution so we're gonna use this package hpp okay so protect against the http parameter pollutions attacks okay so this is the example as you can see um the url okay express populates http request parameters with same name in an array okay so they solve us this package will save our life and uh, this is how to require uh, this package and after that use it as a middle well okay basically here there is um nothing um uh, complicated okay so we just duplicate this line um and add hvp okay and here so we miss something and add it okay and now we're gonna use uh, this um we're gonna use it as a middleware okay so this is it um guys and girls so in this lessons we see make cookie only accessible on https if we are on productions prevent sql injections add headers for security prevent cross site scripting sss limit number of queries during an amount of time prevent param pollution so that was it guys and girls so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up if you have questions please um drop them in the comment sections and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends so that more people can watch our video with that being said thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye